Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for the Panners Pan. I just got done editing and posting my Graveyard Project Pan finale and I looked so wretched in that video. I had light coming in from the window because it's really, really sunny outside today. And oh my gosh, it was not doing me any favors. So I have closed the curtain and hopefully I look better. But anyways, this project was created by Elizabeth, who is Kooky Pans over on Instagram. And the point of this project is to shout out other project panners that you love. And it started out with 10 project panners and 10 products. And the idea was that it would be rolling so that when you met your goal on the product, you could roll out that product and that project panner and roll in a new product for a new project panner. I am so slow at meeting goals that I decided to turn this around and make it a progressive. So every month, regardless of whether I meet a goal or not, I bring in another product for another project panner. It's been interesting. As of last month, we were up to 20 products in this project and I did not meet a goal by today. So we're going to go up to 21. I think you guys are going to breathe a sigh of relief when you see what the product is that I'm rolling in though. It's going to be okay, I think. So I do also try to pick three items to focus in on during the month because it's hard to work on all 21 products consistently. And so I pick three focus products every month. So let's start with those. The first focus product is the nail polish I put in this project for Mariella. And that is my Julie G nail polish in Sugar, Fum Sugar Plum Fairy. And I'm wearing it. Look at that. I did a manicure on Sunday, a week ago Sunday. And it held up pretty well, but I had uh, some wearing on my tips. I was ready to change up my nail polish, but I thought I want to have this on when I film this video. So I just took the polish and went over my tips to kind of clean them up and they're chipping again. They're looking a little worn down again because it's Tuesday and I've done dishes and all that stuff. But um, yes, I had to show you guys that I finally wore this polish once the fill line is right about there, I did add a ton of thinner to this bottle a couple months ago because it was getting really thick and dry and it's working great again now, but it's very full again now. So I think if, if I can stay on the bandwagon of polishing my nails, which, which that's the big if, if I can't keep polishing my nails, none of this is relevant, but if I can keep polishing my nails at least every Sunday, which is generally the day I've always liked to polish my nails Sunday night. I think I'm going to try and do this every other Manny. I, if you saw my fall shop my stash, you know that I pulled a lot of awesome nail polishes in my fall shop my stash. And I'm really craving, craving them. I would like to get to some of them before winter comes. And winter is coming. I figured maybe I will, which I've seen other people do in like different project polishes. Maybe Sophie Alexandra does that. But I think it's a really good strategy to do the focus project, the focus polish that you're working on every other Manny so that you're using this, you're using this, but you're still giving yourself a break. So I already know which polish I'm going to do next, but this is on my nails for now and I'll probably take it off. Depends on how it looks Friday um, and repaint. I might repaint them Friday night because I got a busy weekend. So I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to repaint them Friday night or not. But um, yeah, I'm really happy to have finally used this one time. That was the only goal I had for this product. I just wanted to use it once. So mission accomplished. Go Paula. The next product I chose for a focus product is my Maybelline Color Tattoo. In Fool's Gold, this is in this project for both Rebecca Morgan and Jocelyn Clare. I just feel like this is the perfect shade to wear for this time of year. Did I wear it a lot? No. Did I wear it more than I would have if I didn't make it a focus product? Yes. I wore this maybe four or five times, which is pretty good. I've been wearing it under different eye bases, um, or I've been using this as an eye base under different products. And... Um, I'm glad I got some use on it. Still no, no evidence, no, nothing to show, no, no cracks in the packaging, no, 
nothing. It just looks completely full. And the third focus product is my ColourPop and My Little Pony collab palette, particularly the, particularly the shade I put in here for Courtney, who is Triggy 3, which is the shade up here. Yeah, yeah, this shade right here. I wanted to use it maybe five times. I think I only used it three times in the past month. I didn't get uh, like all five uses in, but I did use it a few times. This is the other shade I have in this project. This is for Beth from Beth's Makeup Diary. And my goal is to hit pan on both of them. And obviously I have not done that. So I'm gonna keep working on that. All right, let's do a quick rundown of all the other products that are in this project and who they're in here for. Okay, first of all, I have my ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF. This is in here for Elizabeth, who is Kooky Pans, who is the creator of this project. No progress to show on my paper, no new line to make. I feel like I used it maybe once, but I am just not reaching for the shade. I think it goes without saying that if I do ever use this pencil up, I will not be repurchasing it. There's something about this color that I just don't reach for this pencil. And I remember a long time ago, Kathleen Lights raved over this shade. I already own this pencil. I didn't buy this pencil because of Kathleen Lights, but I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I have that pencil and she loves it so much. Whatever it's doing for her, it is not doing it for me. It looks like I don't know. It's just a little too brown for me, a little too light. I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. I'm I'm still going to keep working on it, though. I'll keep trying, you guys. I'm not going to give up. Next is another ColourPop product. This is my Ultra Glossy, Glossy Lip in Curvy 2. This is in here for Chic Geek. I am wearing this lip gloss right now on top of a pink Too Faced liquid lipstick that I just rolled out of my graveyard project pan. It was looking a little worn down and it was dry. So I put this on top. It's a nice combo. Sometimes I have cracks showing in this packaging with like gaps in, in the product, but right now there really aren't any. I don't feel like I've been reaching for this too much more this past month since I finished the other Too Faced lip gloss I had in this pack. Project. I thought maybe my usage of this would pick up quite a bit once I finished that uh, peachy gloss. But I don't think I really am using it that much more. But I'll keep working on that. Next for Alex, who is Alejandra Lissette, I have my Halo Luxie Beauty eyeshadow. My goal is to hit pan on it. I don't know if I used it at all in the past month. I, I don't feel like I did. No bueno. Okay, next I have my eyeliner from Jean de Blue in Electric Blue. This is in this project for Alexi, who is panning with Alexi. And um, I am wearing it today as an eyeliner, but I don't have a new mark to make on this pencil. As you guys know, I have a hard time making progress on this pencil. It's not my favorite. I really wish I could use this as a waterline pencil to add a pop of blue to my waterline, but this doesn't show up in my waterline and it certainly doesn't stay there. <laughs> what are you giggling about? Because I'm thinking about something very funny. So this definitely doesn't stay or really show up in my waterline at all, which is how I really would like to use it. Get your pants up. That's not funny. So... I've also tried to use it as an eye base, but unfortunately it just looks really streaky when I apply it as an eye base. And I don't think it really does me any favors. So I'm left using it as an upper lash line eyeliner, which is fine, but it's kind of a specific thing, you know? I can't multitask it the way I was hoping to. One of these days I'm gonna wear it as a lipstick and then we'll have some fun. Next, I have my eyeshadow from the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette for Elizabeth with an S. I am trying to hit pan, oopsie, I'm trying to hit pan on this coral pink shade right there. I think I used this once or twice in the past month, but that's it. Keep working on that. Okay, next. This next product, I do have some exciting progress to talk about, and I think it's possible this could be rolling out at next month's update. If not next month, then definitely in two months. But it is my MAC concealer. 
This is the Studio Finish Concealer in C25. This is a fabulous concealer. I just applied some around my nose because as you might have noticed, I'm getting over a cold. And boy, my nose doesn't look red at all, does it? It is phenomenal. I am trying to hit side pan. By the way, this is in this project for two project panners, Steph Lyons and Delin from Outward Processing. And I am trying to work my way from the middle where I'd hit pan to this edge and up the side. And I use a little concealer brush to apply it, which is why I'm able to get such a precise um, applic not application, but a precise area of the pan when I'm using the brush. But I think I think it's getting close. I definitely expanded the pan, that little narrow ridge. And I think I'm really thinning out the product that's left on the side. So we'll see. We'll see what I can do. I am still using this every single day. I tend to use it on the outside of my under eyes. I like an even brighter concealer on the inside. And then I use it around my nose, especially when I'm about to film, because if I have even the slightest amount of redness, the camera picks up on it, even though I don't really see it from day to day when I'm out and about. I almost said that like a Canadian, out in a boat, a boat. <coughs> I'm not Canadian, that was weird. Okay, next, I have my Lancome Juicy Tubes Lip Gloss for Linda. This is the shade Desert. I've had it laying on its side, so dang it. But it's getting there. I've reached for it several times over the past month. I wore it yesterday. Um, I got a long way to go, very long way. Hold on, it's starting to settle. Maybe I'll check back in with this in a minute. Let me see if I could prop it up somehow out here. But yes, I am using that a little bit more. Next, I have my Modern Renaissance palette. This is in here for Jessica Payne. And my goal, and my goal is to use this palette a total of 34 times in this project. And I reached for this several times in the past month. And by several, I mean at least three. So we are up to 13 uses. I'm not sure where I was last month. I'll have to go back and check, but we are up to 13 uses with this product. I will conf I will figure out what my cost per use is down to with this product as of today, and I will have it right here on the screen. But basically, my goal for this palette is to get the cost per use down to under $1 a use. And as of not last month, but the last time I checked this, it was at $2.63 per use. So we're, I think it's going to be a lot better than that since the last time I measured it, but this is what the, <coughs> but this is what the inside of the palette currently looks like. There's still no pan. But you know, it's definitely looking loved and more used. When I first got this palette, I was all about the pinks. I just wanted like Vermeer, and the pink on my lid. That was really all I wanted. Every time I used this palette, the, those were the two shades I reached for. Recently, I've been reaching for more like the Primavera, the more golden-y shimmery shade, and some of these orangey shades and like Venetian red. I've been reaching for Venetian red and red ochre more than Love Letter. So my tastes have definitely changed with this palette, um, but I've also kind of discovered Warm Taupe, which is basically a shadow I'd never used at all prior to the start of this project. And I'm kind of in love with that shade too. But Rialgar has been one that I've been reaching for a lot. Oh, I was watching a, an update from like three years ago from Rachel Stephanie. And she had antique bronze like all over her eyelid and Warm Taupe blending it out. That was really beautiful. I should try that. And she's already, at, at this point, this video that I was watching, she'd already used all of these shades up and all of, and that shade. So she was pulling like shimmery shades from other palettes. But I think I would use maybe Vermeer on my eyelid for that one. I think the shade I would most likely hit pan on first is Vermeer. <coughs> I just love that pinky shimmery shade. But yeah, I'm really glad I'm using this. I'm enjoying it. Thanks, Jessica. The reason I put it in the project for Jessica is because she panned that palette too. So 
Next, I have my Wet n Wild Don't Flutter Yourself Blush Slash Highlighter Slash Blush Topper for Rania. My goal is to wear away the Hummingbird. It's still there. I didn't reach for this a whole lot over the past month. I've been trying to focus on my Laura Mercier highlighter, which I don't think is going to be gone by the end of the year. Spoiler alert. But I'm trying to focus in on that a little bit more. And I haven't been playing around with my other highlighters much. Next is NARS Rakugian. This is in here for Rebecca S. And um, I feel like I have the slightest bit of progress on this. It's not much. I don't think I'm even going to make a new mark because it would be so close, but, <coughs> but yeah, um, I need to get going on it. That's a little embarrassing. It's funny because a lot of my project, the, a lot of the products I'm working on, I don't think much about like, oh, what are people going to think? But this one, I kind of feel like I'm judging myself and other people should be judging me as well because that should be going faster. That's kind of embarrassing. Next, I have Warm Me Up from Maybelline. This is in here for Christina Chang. Um, I might have used it once or twice. Yeah, no progress to mark. I love the shade. I just didn't reach for it much over the past month. Next is my Wet n Wild highlighter uh, in the shade Purple Ashes. This is in here for Kana from Kana's Closet. My goal is to hit pan on this, and um, I don't think I used this one at all in the past month either. Again, focusing on Laura Mercier 01. So. Next is my Urban Decay powder foundation in the shade Medium. Medium Warm. I... Put this in for Steph from It's Just Steph because she does a chopping block series. And I decided to put this product on my chopping block. During this project, I used it. <coughs> During this project, I was able to use this powder in like the height of summer when I am at my tannist. And it actually did work as an all over setting powder, which is good to know. But I'm only that tan for like a month, maybe two out of the whole year. So what I want to do is wait until I am at my very fairest and see if I could use this as a bronzer. Now I'm getting pretty fair. I don't know if I'm at my fairest, but I'm getting pretty fair. And um, I haven't used this at all in the past month, but I think over this next month, I will try it a time or two and see if I can use it as a bronzer because that will make this a much more usable product if I could use it for a couple months in the winter and a couple months in the summer. Otherwise, it is going to take me the rest of my life to get through this product. Because if we're just waiting for, you know, a month or two months in the summer when I can pull this off, you know, that's not good. Okay, next I have my trio from Total Intensity in Fantasia. I brought this in here for Morgan. Her Instagram account is more Lippy Lovers. Lippy underscore lovers underscore pans. Lippy lovers pans. And I brought this in because she's also doing a baby pan that palette. And her baby pan that palette is in the same configuration as this one. And my goal is to use these 9, 9, and 14 times, which I have not accomplished yet. I am still at 1, 1, and 1. So I did not use this at all in the past month, unfortunately. I'll get to it. Next is a product I'm using every single day. This is my Pixie Color Corrector. I'm so happy to be working on this again. I've been waiting a long time to get back to this. This is in this project for Amy and Kim. And um, I use this every single day. My goal is to finish it off completely. I'm wearing away at it very evenly. The brush I use just kind of <coughs> has been going around the edges of this product to bring it down. So there's no dips or holes, but I think I'm getting close to finishing off the whole thing completely. When I look at this from the side, I feel like I'm starting to see, <clears throat> let me see, will that show it? I feel like I'm starting to see how low this, uh, I don't feel like it's going to pick up on it, but I feel like we are now below like I feel like right on this side, I'm really close to hitting the bottom. I think this whole product is going to be gone in a few months. I don't think it'll be gone before January, but 
This is going really quick. I'm really enjoying it. I love it. It is a really, really good brightening under eye concealer for me. And that's what I really need and love. And before this, I was working on a Physician's Formula concealer. It wasn't really that brightening. It wasn't the right tone. It didn't have enough pink in it. And it, the formula was pretty dry. This isn't a super emollient formula, but it's more emollient and it just makes my under eyes really, really happy. I use a, a fluffier, a flat but fluffier Real Techniques brush to apply it. And I can apply a very thin layer and then I just kind of tap it out with my finger. And then I usually apply concealer and a uh, under eye setting powder on top of that. And um, it, I'm just really happy with the results. <coughs> I'm gonna keep working on this. And the final product rolling over for another month is my ABH and Mario palette. I brought this in here for Chanrel from Shan, Sha, Chanrel. <laughs> I brought this in here for Chanrel from Chanrel Stash because we did our, uh, we collaborated together on the fall shopping our stash collab. And we both had this palette in our top five palettes for fall. And um, this was a seriously underutilized palette within my collection. And so I chose this shade Isabel to work on and my goal is to hit pan on it. And holy cow, this is so much darker than I remembered it being or that I thought it would be. I feel like I'm questioning whether I've ever used this at all. Like how did I not realize how dark this was? I'm expecting this kind of, you know, light orangey shade. It is brown, it is brown on my eyelids. It is shockingly brown. I still liked it, but <laughs> I was a little caught off guard. I think I only used it one time in the past month, but those were my thoughts. Okay, that is everything rolling over. Now is the time that I show you what new product I'm rolling in and who I'm rolling it in for. Um, again, I think you guys are gonna breathe a sigh of relief, but the product I'm rolling in this month is a foaming body scrub from my Onyx Bathhouse, you guys. It's been a while, but about a year ago, maybe, yeah, about a year ago, give or take, I walked into my local TJ Maxx and saw this foaming body scrub. Now, I had previously panned a foaming body scrub that was from, what's the company name? I can't think of it. Bliss. And I thought it was amazing. And I actually thought, you know what? I've never liked a body scrub in my <coughs> I've never liked a body scrub in my entire life, but I love a foaming body scrub. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need. I'm going to buy more. So I went to Ulta. They didn't have it. I went to Bliss's website. They didn't have it. They're not making foaming body scrubs any longer. And I was devastated. And then tons of you guys started sending me links to like indie brands that are making foaming body scrubs. And I thought, well, that's good. But I do have other body washes and soaps that I should be using for now. So I'll keep that in the back my mind for down the road when I use up more of what I have. Then I'm perusing my local TJ Maxx one day and I discover Onyx Bathhouse, which is not a product that is consistently sold at my TJ Maxx. It's just kind of like once in a while, but it's basically sold exclusively at TJ Maxx. So if you want to find this brand, that's where you have to go. They might sell it at like Marshalls and Home Goods too, but it's one of those kind of stores. You can't go to another store to find it. You can't go to a website and buy it. That's basically it. And I'm not one to like pop. I do have a TJ Maxx like five minutes away. I could get there very easily, but I'm afraid to go in there and see if they have these because I'm afraid I'll buy $100 of crap I don't need. I don't know if I have that kind of self-control, so it's better I just don't go in. So I purchased four of these last year and I've used up one. And this is the first time since January of 2022 that I'm not panning a body wash. I've finished all the body washes that I had in projects. I'm not currently testing any body washes. I've tested out several this year. And so I decided it was time to work on one of my foaming body scrubs again. I'm so excited. I pulled this out of my stash out of the, the office about a week ago and I've used it one time. It was brand new and I've used it once. This is the scent Wild Mint and it is minty. So that's what one use looks like. If you're wondering, I just pinch off a little bit and use it up. And then if I need more, I pinch off a little bit more. 
And the person I am rolling this in for is Jamie Jinks. Jamie Jinks uh, is her Instagram handle. Her name is Jamie. I don't know what her last name is. I don't think it's Jinks. I probably know somewhere, but I'm not going to tell you guys. But anyways, Jamie is one of my OG Instagram buddies. I can think of, you know, certain people that have been in my life since basically the start of my Instagram account. There are people that I befriended early on. And a lot of those people are no longer on Instagram. A lot of those people have moved on. Their interests have changed and they're not really like project panning anymore. But Jamie is still around. I think for a while she also had a YouTube channel, which either, I mean, it might still be up, but I don't think she's posted on that channel in years. But, you know, I enjoyed watching her YouTube channel, but she's most active on Instagram now. And her interests are the same as like, every girl's interests. Like most of us have the same kind of interests. We all like skincare. We all like makeup. We all like books. <laughs> we all like, uh, like these are our main like hobbies and interests for most of us. And that's what her Instagram account is. So if you like those type of things, she gives book reviews. She talks about empties. She talks about hauls. She actually is doing her, uh, a low buy bank similar to what I'm doing. Um, like a two out one in kind of situation. So you could see that on her Instagram account. Um, she does project pans and yeah, I love her. And her. She, I feel like she's been my friend since I started my account in like 2016. We've known each other for what feels like a long time. We've never actually met, but I consider her a friend. And um, she loves skincare. She's got a lot of skincare on her Instagram account. She pans a lot of skincare. And so I'm bringing this product in for her. So I hope you guys are breathing a sigh of relief that I'm not bringing in another makeup product this month. It just seemed like a little too much right now to bring in another makeup product when I already have 20 other makeup products in this project. So I'm bringing in this body scrub. It will be a miracle if I can get this finished by inventory time. I don't think that's gonna be possible, but I'm just looking forward to enjoying it between now and the end of the year. Starting January 1st, I might be putting some body washes back in Project Pan. So I'm definitely interested in using this until December 31st. And then we'll see where I'm at at that point. But this is the product I'm bringing in. All right, let's talk about my three focus products for the month of November. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back. I've picked out my three focus products for the month. Let me show you what they are. First of all. I want to make progress on Nars Rakugian because I didn't make any progress over this past month. I'm like one use away from needing to sharpen this, so that's encouraging, but I need to focus on that a bit more. I might move this to my purse. I think if I move this to my purse, I'll use it a little bit more than if I leave it in the bathroom. So, and I, I had my Too Faced liquid lipstick in my purse and I took that out, so maybe I'll put this in there. I've also decided to pull in this Urban Decay uh, powder foundation. Like I said, I think it's time to try this out as a bronzer and either decide if I can use it or not. I need to get that information and then I could roll this out of this project. And, um, I mean, if I want to declutter it, which I probably won't, I could do that, but it'll probably just go back in the office. And the final product I'm bringing in as a focus product is a product I've never had as a focus product before. But I've just been feeling this Modern Renaissance palette so much. And I'm really encouraged by the fact that I used it so many times in the past month. And I want to see how much I could use it in the next month. So I'm going to make this a focus product as well. I don't know. I guess I could use the goal of getting past the halfway point with this product. So if I use it five more times, I will be over the halfway point with this because my goal is 34 uses. So if I use it five more times, I'll be at 18 uses. So I guess I want to use this at least five times in the next month so that I'm at that past the halfway point with usage for this product. That would be good. Basically on the days that I reach for this palette, I don't use anything else. I use this palette for my entire eye look. Um, sometimes I'll bring in a different, like an eye base but as far as powder eyeshadow, this is the only palette I use on the days that I reach for this palette. So that's the only rule I have for myself. So that is everything for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. 
I forgot to bring this back up again, guys. I, uh, I've had it sitting up, but it's still not settled. So not much to show this month. Sorry. I should have more for next month. 